Good morning, my dear students and listeners. My name is Alim Bakamara. I am a teacher at Tashkent State Agrary University. Today, new theme about animal production for the first course. Let's begin our English lesson. Some of the foods we eat come from different animals such as beef, veal, lamb, pork, fish, and chicken. We also eat food that are made by animals. For example, chickens produce eggs and cows give milk. Animal byproducts include all parts of a leaf animal that are not part of the dressed carcass. Byproducts from cattle and other species are routinely used in a variety of ways. Textile, pharmaceutical, cosmetic and other industries are all able to find a functional use for animal byproducts. Outputs derived from items that may otherwise be disposed of include, but certainly are not limited to, leather, wool and other textiles, pet food, animal feed, soap, personal care products, industrial lubricants, by diesel fuel and medicines. Dairy cows are another type of cattle that provide us with nutritional products. There are a lot of different dairy products. Some of them are most familiar with include milk, cheese, yogurt, butter and ice cream. Other dairy products include sour cream, cottage cheese, whey, cream cheese and condensed milk. Dairy products are often used in cooking and baking and contain calcium, which can help to strengthen your bones. Chickens also produce eggs. As we know, eggs serve as a source of protein and are used in baking. Eggs are also used for the production of therapeutic vaccines and are beginning to be used for production of antibodies and pharmacological proteins. Sheep also produce a wide variety of useful products that people use. Sheep produce milk like cows and goats that is safe for people to drink. This milk can be made into cheese, yogurt and other different dairy products. Sheep also provide meat in the form of lamb. Lisa Karakul is also from a lamb less than a year old. Mutton is taken from sheep older than a year. Okay, dear students, you have to match the words and definition. Routine, outputs, lubricants, therapeutic, mutton. I could find this definition. Routine, the normal order and way in which you regularly do things. Outputs, amount of something that a person, a machine or produce organization. Lubricants are substances that use parts of machines move easily and smoothly. Therapeutic, designed to help treat an illness. Mutton, meat from sheep older than a year. This is a crossword. My dear students, you have to find this crossword at your home. Next, grammar, grammar part is phrasal verb. Phrasal verbs are a large and very important area of English vocabulary. There are a lot of them and many phrasal verbs can have more than one meaning. Note, one phrasal verb can often have different meanings. For example, she turned down the radio, made it so loud. The turned down the invitation, refused it. Okay, my dear students. We put phrasal verbs in the words to come and to look. I give some sentence about to come verb. Begin. Come up with. How did you come up with it? Please come up with the solution to this problem. Come off. Did that thing come off again? Wait the handle come off. I can't open the door. Come across. They come across some last Mayan ruins in the jungle of Mexico. He comes across as resolute, but he isn't. Come with, 
This computer doesn't come with a printer. Who did you come here with? Come out with... The snake come out with a new carton. Microsoft is coming out with a new video game next month. Come along with... How is the research paper coming along? How are you coming along with your quit lesson? Come by. Please come by my place whenever you have some free time. Why don't you come by before the show? Come out of. Come out of there. When is this film going to come out? So, what come out of that idea of yours? Come over. Come over here. When are you coming over? My favorite band is coming over to town. Come along. We are going to the beach. Would you like to come along? Come along. There is room for everyone. Next word is to look. <coughs> I give some definition about to look word. Look to. Really on somebody or something. Look up. Find the information in a book, on a map or a timetable. Look ahead. Think about what is going to happen in the future and make plans. Look back. Think about something that happened in the past. Look for. Try to find something. Look forward to. Feel pleased and excited about something that is going to happen. Look in. Visit a person or place for a short time. Look on. Watch something without taking part yourself. Look out. Watch what is happening and be careful. W look around. Turn to look at something behind you. Look through. Read something quickly and briefly. And next. Our teacher, our students match a sentence on the left with a sentence on the right. And I can, I could find this sentence. The house is quite old. Turn it down then. It's too cold today. Put your coat on. It's getting late. It's time to get up. Your boyfriend wanted to leave you. She got over it quickly. I'm training, trying to walk. Please turn your music down. That interesting show is on soon. Turn on the TV. It's raining now. Take your umbrella. I don't want to accept that job. We can do it up nicely. Okay, thank you for the attention, my dear students and listener. Goodbye.